Good morning. It's good to greet you in the name of the Lord, and it's good to see you today. Let's pray. Our kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we're so grateful to know that you are the Lord of life, that you are the one who sustains us, who keeps us going, who keeps us in tune with the realities of life. We need you now as we have never needed you before because we're facing an unseen enemy, the virus of coronavirus. And Lord, we're reminded of the words of that great hymn, I need thee every hour. Lord, we need to know that you are always around, always available. Sometimes we forget that, Lord. Sometimes we try to face all these trials and tribulations all by ourselves, and we need to look to you and find that you are the calming effect that we need as we are faced with all of these trials. The pandemic that we're facing is an unknown enemy. And we've been focusing also, we've been seeing on TV the riots all over the nation. And we get aware that things are getting out of control. And we wonder, where is it ever going to end? But Lord, your word is a constant reminder to me, for you have said, Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And so, Lord, as we face these unchartered times, may we just know that in you we live and move and have our being, that we might always grow in your grace and understand that you are ever available to us. And forgive us, Lord, if we express fear when we need to be expressing praise. We have been torn apart from our church because of this pandemic. We know that we can worship you individually, but as the body of Christ, we feel strengthened in numbers. May your spirit lead us and guide us and sustain us and help us through this time that we are always in your care. Lead us today, Lord that we might grow in your grace. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen.